Hello. A few words on my setup of my viola. First of all, a lot of people ask me, what kind of viola do you play? Well, this viola is a viola that's made in California, Petaluma, California, in Sonoma County, by Anthony Lane in 1996. I really love this viola. It's got a beautiful back. And it's very easy to play. It's 16 inches long and very comfortable for me to play on. The bow that I use is by Adolf Schuster, German, probably from around 1920 or so. I've played on this bow for a long time and always have been very fond of it. A few notes on the viola. The C string is dark and rich. The G string velvety. The D string warm. And the A string relatively bright. So you can hear the sound of the viola going through. I do use a shoulder rest. I can play without it and I have done so. Um, I guess I can demonstrate that now. So I took off my shoulder rest and place it down over there and can play without it. But I do choose most of the time to use the shoulder rest for my comfort. The kind of shoulder rest that I use is a Corkver by Pirastro. It's very expensive. I think they're about $400. Big question, is it worth $400? My short answer, it's worth every penny of it. It's very, very, very light. It weighs virtually nothing. It's made out of wood, which you can bend. I have to say, I'm scared to bend it. I think I'm gonna break it if I bend it, crack it or something. There are a lot of instructions how to set it up and it says to be really careful when you're bending it. So I don't bend it. I just left it the way it was when it came in the box. And I believe that it's probably contoured a little bit to my shoulder as I've been playing it for about a year. Very comfortable. It comes with extra pads over there. So I haven't had to use them, but I can see they're getting a little bit of wear, so probably eventually I have to change them. A little tricky to set up because it comes with a little tool. And you can notice over here that since this doesn't come straight up, I had to do a whole bunch of adjustments before it actually fit the viola. But one of the crowning glories of this shoulder rest is that once it's on, you can't take it off. It doesn't fall off. So when I use a coon rest or a wolf or anything else, I try to pull, if you go like this, they just fall right off. And they always seem to fall off at the wrong time, don't they? But this one never, ever comes off. It just stays there. It's easy to put on, you can see. I can put it on and just slides right on there effortlessly. And once it's there, the feet grip the viola and it makes me feel very secure. It's very light and definitely does not disturb the sound of the viola. I don't know if it enhances the sound, but it definitely does not detract from the sound. It's very, very comfortable and because of all those reasons, it's well worth it. We spend a lot of money on cases and all sorts of things and um, Spending $400 on a shoulder rest that I use all the time doesn't seem like that big of a deal to me. My chin rest is made by Gary Frisch of Frisch and Denning. They're a company in Virginia that make custom chin rests. And um, this is called a Rondo. 
although I usually use one called a Brandt, which is one of their models. It's very comfortable, and if you notice, it's a little bit on the high side, and I put it towards the middle. My jaw and chin actually go right in the middle, so you'll see that I hold the viola more or less in the middle. But when you use the raised chin rest that they make, I feel that my, my posture is better because my neck is straight. So I feel more free to play with this chin rest. Um, these also are not inexpensive, but are they worth it? They're worth every penny of it because I have to use it all the time. So the combination of my chin rest and my shoulder rest is very good for me. People ask me all the time what kind of strings that I use and um, I'll put a little tag up there that, um, that shows the video of the Rondo strings that I made a few months ago when I was one of the testers for Tomastic trying them out. And um, I have to say, I still have those Rondo strings by Tomastic on and they're awesome. I said on the video that they're the best strings I ever played on and I still think they are. I love the warmth of the sound and the feel. They feel, they feel very cushiony to me to play on. And I always feel that I can get the most out of my sound. So you probably want to check out the video on that, but I can't recommend these strings highly enough. For my mute, I use a Beck mute. I like it because it's shaped like one of those tort mutes. Let me take it off and show you. It looks like this, but if you notice that little gold dot over there, that's a magnet. And so when you put the mute on in between the D and the G string there, you put a little contraption over here on top of the tail piece, which also has a magnet on it, and that sticks as a magnet to that and it never rattles and it makes me feel more secure when I'm playing. So that's about my setup. Again, I use the Corkver Shoulder Rest by Perastro. Can't recommend it highly enough. You have to fit it for a while, but once you get it fitted, it's awesome. I use the Frisch and Denning Chin Rest, which I love. A little bit raised. I think this is 30 or 32 millimeters high. And I use a Beck Mute. And of course, as I guess everybody knows by now, I use the Rondo Strings by Tomastic, which I always recommend.